This is a tutorial on how to modify Winamp in order to delete uh, songs from the playlist using the Shift plus Delete hotkey combination. First, install Resource Hacker, Google it or use uh, this direct download, and install Winamp. I have both of them here on the desktop, and then uh, start Resource Hacker. Okay, and go to File, Open, and Open Winamp uh, Executable. File, Open. It's on the C drive. Winamp and Winamp Exe. Open. Now go to Accelerators. Okay, thirteen seventy two. Okay, and ten thirty three. Okay, now find this line VK delete forty two two two. VK delete forty two two two. Okay, and go to the end of the line and press enter. Okay, and now type the same thing. This I'm setting and copying it, going to the next line and paste it. So this is this one. Okay, and instead of two, write three. That's this one. Okay, and instead of the Alt key, type shift okay and now press compile script this one okay it disappeared somewhere it's here okay and then save the file so go to file and save okay and this created the backup file. Let's go to the properties of the Winamp executable and open file location. And we can see the modified file is winamp.exe and winamp uh, dash original is the modified one. So I'm starting the modified one. Double click on Winamp. Okay. And now let's drag a few songs into the playlist and let's press shift plus delete and the song is deleted so I have let's open the directory okay let's make it smaller okay let's delete this one also I'm selecting the file and press shift delete and it disappeared we have four more files and if the currently uh, selected file is playing right like it's playing now and you press shift plus delete you can uh, delete the file until you either you stop it or press next so let's go to the next file and then try again and the file was deleted okay let's do the same shift delete click next and try again let's do the same with the currently playing file shift delete and this time I'm pressing stop try again okay and if it's not playing then simply it's deleted and the folder of mp3 files uh, is totally empty okay that's it thank you bye bye